Hey there guys, today I want to show you how to create uh, some track presets in Pro Tools. What I mean by that is if you go up in your track menu, say I want to create a new track, and everything looks normal, but if I look under this menu, I'm going to see some things that are different. And you can see there's some custom tracks, so I can pull up this Telecaster preset, I can go to Audio Track and pull up even a group of faders. Uh, this, these backing vocals it's going to pull up four backing vocals. I'll just show you. So there's my Telecaster one, and here's my, all my backing vocals tracks. They're bust out to a Submaster fader. It's got solo safe on. There's panning. There's uh, a bust to a reverb. The reverb's in place. All the channel strips are in place. Everything's in place that you'd want. So maybe you're asking, how do you do that? Let me walk you through it. Let's say I have this a Telecaster plugged in and I dial in a virtual amp and I love the sound I'm getting and I want to save it. So what you do is you go up to File, Export, <coughs> Export Selected Tracks as New Session. So if you have more than one track selected it will be included in what you're about to save. All this is good. I'll save this. Don't save your audio files. Okay, now here's where you want to save this. In Applications, and this is on a Mac, I have no idea how to do this on a PC. Avid, and Pro Tools. Inside the Pro Tools folder, create a new folder that's it's called Track Presets. Open that up, and I recommend using Audio and Virtual Instrument for the next tracks. We're going to put this one in Audio. We're going to call it PB Tally number three. We're going to save it. Now it's not going to work quite yet. There's one more step we have to do. And that is that we have to go back into the finder, go to that folder, uh, track presets, audio, and the default extension here is going to be PTX. And that's what you have to change to be PTXT. PTXT, enter. Use PTXT. Great. And once we do that, if we go to create a new track now, audio track, down this audio track down here, we go here to our sub menu. There's our the one we just created, the PB Tele number three. So this is super handy, uh, super handy feature uh, to to take advantage of. It's not really a feature; it's it's a workaround, but it, it's it's uh, really helpful. What's also cool is that you could take that folder and you could put it in the cloud and have access to these presets wherever you go, wherever a Pro Tools system might be that has Pro Tools 10 and, and a Mac. So I hope this is helpful and I look forward to seeing your comments and I'll see you around.